Hey guys, it's Cruise Tips with Christina, and today you are in for a treat. I am going to show you a grand tour of the entire Holland America New Amsterdam ship. If you can't tell, I am on my balcony right now. I am going to walk you through each and every deck on the Holland America New Amsterdam ship and give you tips and tricks along the way. And I ask that during this video, if you find anything helpful, please, please subscribe and include any of your questions below. I will help you out. And with that, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start with deck number nine and walk you through everything to do on deck nine on the Holland America New Amsterdam ship. This is the sea view pool at the back of the boat. I like to nickname this the adult pool. As you can see on the new Amsterdam ship, everybody's out in the sun having a good time. There are towels, there's a hot tub, you can get drinks ordered. This is just a popular place to hang out on the new Amsterdam ship. To the left here is where I like to eat. Over here, some guys are playing cornhole and having a good time. Over there in the far section is the smoking section on the new Amsterdam ship by Holland America. As you can see, everyone's just having a great time. Over here is the sea view bar where you can order a cocktail, talk to the waiters, have a good time. Over here is the New York pizza where you can order a pizza any way that you want. Let's take a sneak peek. Ooh, yummy, that looks good. There are salads and panna cotta. When you place your order, you'll get one of those pagers. They'll buzz you when it's ready. Over here is where I like to eat lunch with my mom on the new Amsterdam ship. And this is it, this is the sea view pool on the new Amsterdam ship. Next, I'm going to walk here, do, 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 heading towards the Lido. There are the towels, as you can see. And let's walk into the Lido, which is on deck nine of the new Amsterdam ship. I filmed this during lunchtime. Over here, those are the elevators, Lido Market. All right, let's enter. This is the salad bar here with lettuce, cucumbers, carrots, dressing, chicken, tuna. I always have lunch here because I like to eat healthy. Over here in the middle section is coffee, tea. There's always fruit like apples, bananas. Here is the sandwich station for lunch. I have another YouTube video, which is nothing about nothing but lunch on the Holland America cruise ships. This is showing you the new Amsterdam Lido buffet. Everyone's getting food. I filmed this during lunchtime. Main dishes. Let's just keep on walking. Here are desserts. Ice cream. Hi, thanks for saying hi. Cookies. We're just gonna keep on walking. Both sides of the Lido market more or less have the same food. The exception is when I filmed this, they had Mediterranean food at one of the stations on one side. And only one side has the, what I call pasta station, which is here. So this is always open. This has lasagna, pastas. They always have fruit, various pasta sauces, just tacos are for lunch today. This is the other side of the Lido market, more coffee, tea, milk areas. Let's just walk along here. I'm going to show you the Canaletto restaurant, which you pay extra for. It's like Italian food. You'll need to make reservations, so it's over here. It's just basically kind of the Lido buffet, but at nighttime they section it off. I'm gonna stop here for a section, second so that you can see the menu of the Canaletto restaurant. So let's take a peek. Basically it's pasta, it's Italian food. People really like it. I'll say on the newer ships, like the Pinnacle class ships, the Canaletto section is much fancier, but we're on the New Amsterdam ship, and this is what the Canaletto looks like on the New Amsterdam ship by Holland America. Okay, we're gonna look over here. Oh, yep, we're exiting the Lido restaurant. Those are more elevators over there. Let's keep on walking. So now I'm walking towards 
the Lido pool on the Holland America New Amsterdam ship. This is the dive-in where you can order hot dogs and hamburgers and french fries. Take a peek. Here is the menu if you can see it. Hot dogs, hamburgers in various ways that you can order for lunch time. People like it. And same thing, there are pagers that you can pick up. Over here is a small section to sit down. Penguin, penguin on board. Okay, let's keep on walking through the new Amsterdam Lido pool. This is around 1.15 p.m. So everyone's out and about in the sunshine, having a beer, having a cocktail. This is the Lido bar, so another place to grab a drink. Ooh, I like her backpack, that's cute. Um, people having a good time, sitting down by the chairs. People do like to claim the lawn chairs, which I'm not the biggest fan of, but um, people do that. All of the towels for the pool are blue on the new Amsterdam ship. As you can see, this is what I like to call the kid pool. There's two boys, come on, jump. One, two, three, come on, you can do it, you can do it, yes! Okay, is the other kid gonna go? Yes, perfect. All right, so that's the Lido pool, just to give you an idea of that. Um, now I'm walking toward the spa and gym, but first we're gonna stop and take a peek at a ping pong tournament happening right now. So the new Amsterdam ship has two small ping pong tables for your entertainment. I see families doing that at night as a group activity. Here we're going along, and I'm just gonna show you more of the Lido pool. Here is the hot tub to hang out in. So there's hot tubs at the adult pool and the Lido pool. Over here are the private cabanas, which you can rent. They will come to you for drinks. Um, they always give you fresh fruit, so you might wanna rent those out. Back here are showers. I'll admit I've never seen anybody hop in the shower, but it exists. Behind this is the hydro pool, which I'll do a separate video on later, but let's take a sneak, sneak peek. Okay, you can kind of see the water in there. You pay extra for that. My mom loves the hydro pool, so that is what is behind those glass doors on the new Amsterdam ship. We're just gonna keep on walking along, do, do, do. Here's the hydro pool hiding behind those glass doors. I'm gonna try to do a sneak peek. There you go. That's what it looks like. They also have a steam room in another area, which I'll do a separate video on. But now we're entering toward more of deck nine. This is the spa area. So let's take a peek at the greenhouse spa people getting their hair done. You can also get your nails done. So that is the greenhouse spa on the new Amsterdam ship. You can get lots of face work done too, body work, shrink fat away. Let's see, they have a special going on and more decorative objects on the new Amsterdam ship. Okay, now we're gonna go to the pool they're trying to sell Botox there. Not the pool, we're going to the gym. Come with me to explore the gym on the new Amsterdam ship. I'll do a separate video that's nothing but the gym, but this is just a sneak peek. Those were the changing rooms. They have showers in there, which is nice. If you have a partner that takes a long shower, one of you guys can just take a shower up in the gym area. This is the relaxation center where people go before getting a massage and insider's tip tip the water is really really good because it has oranges in it sometimes they have cucumbers now we're entering the gym itself on the new amsterdam ship they are doing a seminar right now this is the seminar from earlier on increasing your metabolism right now when i'm in this ship they were talking about i think your posture and your feet i never care for those lectures but they're an option but anyway this is the new amsterdam gym they have 
about, I think I counted 18 treadmills. They have some stationary bikes. They have three rowing machines. It's not the best gym. I think that the gyms on the newer Holland America ships are way, way, way better, but this just gives you an idea of what the gym looks like on the new Amsterdam ship. So now we're just going to exit the gym and keep on showing you more of the new Amsterdam ship. Here we go, we are exiting the gym, walking back towards the spa, which leads to the Lido pool. So welcome to the retreat on deck number 10. So most of you probably will never go to this area of the Holland America New Amsterdam ship. That is because it is reserved. This area costs extra. I need to do my research to figure out exactly how much it costs, but it's basically a private cabana area on deck number 10, which is your area for the day to chill out. I will say it is very, very quiet up here. It's very secluded. If you want your own area completely separated, very, very private, this is the place to go. But as I mentioned, I don't think most of you will use it. Okay, now we are going to exit the retreat and continue walking along deck number 10. This is the jogging track of the new Amsterdam ship. Honestly, I would never want to jog up here because it is so, so small and it is so hot, but this is what it looks like. And as you can see, you can look down here at the Lido pool from the jogging track. Insider's tip, this is a great place to go at night to look out at the sky. It's just beautiful. It's a secluded place to watch the sunset. Maybe if you want to give your partner a midnight kiss or a 9 p.m. kiss, um, sunset kiss. I don't know. This is a great place to go. Nobody ever goes up here, really. It's pretty quiet. So anyway, this is the jogging track on deck number 10 of the new Amsterdam ship. And here I'm just going to keep on walking around so you can get a whole view of what it looks like. Behind these walls here is Club Hal for kids, which I'll show you a sneak peek of later, but we're just gonna keep on walking. If you follow this jogging track, you will eventually hit the sea view pool or the adult pool. So not a whole lot to do out here, but this is it. Over here, this is where the shuffle boards are located. So that's good to know. If you wanna do something for fun, just playing a game of shuffle board with your friends is a good activity. So there are the shuffle boards to your left and the shuffle board court down there on the deck. And we'll just keep on walking. Do, 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 do. Those are the shuffleboard things. More deck chairs. Insider tip, you don't want to be below the deck on, you don't want to be on deck eight below the lawn chairs because they pull them in and out during the day. But anyway, this is deck number 10. More places to lie in the sun on the lawn chairs. That's what I love about Holland America is they have so many private areas to chill out and relax. And now we are going to take another sneak peek at the sea view pool on deck nine. So there it is down there. And I'm just gonna continue walking around on deck number 10 to show you more of it. So as you see here, more lawn chairs. One thing I love about the new Amsterdam ship is it's easier to get to the sports court which is what i'm going to show you in a minute it's just over this way you can see a sneak peek of the snort the sports court to your left up there to get to it you have to kind of gotta walk through this way and go up the steps which i will show you in a minute but right now we're just walking along this new amsterdam ship walk 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 more people sunbathing, laying out in the sun. Here we go, oh, nope, can't go up those steps. That's for crew only. I'll keep on walking here just to show you more. Okay, I am about to show you the sports court on deck 11. So I'm just going to go up these steps of the new Amsterdam ship. 
and up here is the sports courts. All of the Holland America cruise ships now have pickleball, or at least most of them do, which is amazing. So two men are playing pickleball and there's also basketball courts. Holland America has lots of pickleball games and lessons on their cruise ships, which is a great and fun thing to do. I personally love pickleball. So this is it. And looking down, there's deck number 10, again, for you to see on the new Amsterdam tour. We are not done with deck number 10 yet. Right now I am going to show you Club Hal, which is an area for kids on all Holland America cruise ships. Here is a sneak peek of Club Hal. I will say my mother took my two nephews on a cruise and they absolutely loved Club Hal. One thing that's great about Holland America cruise ships is that they have lots of adults compared to kids. So your kids are in good hands with a Holland America crew member. They will get lots of attention. And now we're going to just exit Club Hal and go up the steps to show you what goes there. Now we are going up the steps on deck 11 midship of the new Amsterdam ship. I am going to show you the Tamarind, which has Pan-Asian cuisine and Nami sushi, which has sushi. So this is the Tamarind bar entrance. It looks really cool. It's like a private area. Nobody really knows this is up here. So I think it's a hidden gen. First, I'm going to show you the Nami Sushi restaurant. So this is it right now. It is closed as I'm filming this. Nami Sushi opens at 5 p.m. and stays open until 9.30 p.m. But this is what it looks like. Lots and lots of windows on the new Amsterdam ship. It's a great place to grab sushi if you love sushi. You will need to, I think, grab reservations to eat at this restaurant, and it does cost extra. So that is one call out with Nami Sushi. But this is it. We're just gonna do a little tour, ba -ba -da -ba -dum, walking around. It's a pretty big restaurant actually um, for just having sushi, but this is exactly what Nami Sushi looks like on the new Amsterdam ship. Now I'm going to exit and I'm gonna show you the Tamarind next. So walking in here, this is like an amazing place to go. So the Tamarind is also a restaurant which you pay extra for, but hidden secret or tip is that you can hang out here during the day like those two people to my right and just look out at the Lido pool. So it's like a private, area way way better than paying for your private cabana and it has ac so this is just a great place to hang out and again that was the tamarind which has pan asian cuisine if you want to make, eat there make reservations ahead of time and this is just another view of it i think this would be an amazing place to hang out at night on the new amsterdam ship the tamarind's just like a secret little hidden gem so here we're going to go look at it from the other point of view just because i wanted to show it to you i talked to a woman and she was like oh i took a nap on one of those couches the other day it was fabulous so this is a hidden place if you want a quiet place on the new amsterdam ship go to the tamarind sit up here enjoy the view enjoy the ac it's just an amazing place to hang out Okay, now I am jumping down to deck one of the new Amsterdam ship, which is the atrium. This is where you can book a future cruise with your friendly cruise consultant or talk to customer service or guest services. I will say I was surprised by how long this line was on the new Amsterdam ship. For some reason, the line seemed long. Then looking up at deck number two and deck number three up there. I will say the new Amsterdam ship doesn't have the spiral staircase, which I love, um, which you'll see in the newer ships. Again, this is another view of guest services. This is deck number one. Tip, 
sometimes there's no line for guest services. So just swing by and try to grab them when there's no line. Up there are the fancier restaurants and bars, which I will show you briefly in this new Amsterdam ship tour. But right now, this is just showing you the guest services area on deck number one. Not a whole lot down here, but I did see people hanging out just enjoying time, talking, so lots of nooks to hang out at. Next, I'm going to show you deck two. One insider's tip is that near the elevators on each and every level of the new Amsterdam ship is the deck plan and a list of what is on each floor. All right, now we are on deck number two, and to my left is the Pinnacle Bar. Insider secret, the Pinnacle Bar seemed to have really, really good coffee in the morning, better than the coffee up in the Explorations Cafe. So you can get both coffee and cocktails here in the Pinnacle Bar. So I'm just going to show you this Pinnacle Bar on deck number two in the Holland America New Amsterdam ship. So you can also hang out here, grab a free treat, order some wine. This is showing you all of the wine that are available on the ship. And then over here, I'm going to continue the tour showing you the art gallery over there. Da, da, da. There's the art gallery. So one of the unique things about the new Amsterdam ship is it still has an art gallery. Like most of the newer Holland America ships do not have a designated art gallery that is this large. So this is just showing you exactly what the art gallery looks like. They have art auctions with sparkling wine. So that is something that you could participate in. That tends to happen on the sea days on the new Amsterdam ship. So this is just showing you the various pieces of art on the new Amsterdam ship as part of this new Amsterdam ship tour. And I'm just going to slowly walk out of the art area and continue walking down the hallway wanted to call out that they do show movies on holland america cruise ships so they show movies in the afternoon on the large screen and we're going to continue walking down this hallway don't mind me madame to the left here is the art auction so i was surprised but as you can see it is full lots and lots of people participating in the art auction today on the holland america new amsterdam ship there's a picture of new amsterdam look at that just walking along the hallways here i am going to slowly walk us towards the bb king's blues club bathrooms to your left always important to have bathrooms over here is the portrait studio all of the holland america cruise ships have a room where you can get your portraits taken that's a very popular thing to do on the cash not casual night on formal night and here i'm just continuing to walk along here is the main dining room i am going to just sneak in here don't mind me this is the second floor of the main dining room on the holland america new amsterdam ship so on the second level is where they have club orange and where i believe they have open seating if you have assigned seating you'll be seated on deck number three but this shows you the main dining room of the new amsterdam ship their color scheme is red and black all right, so I walked back on deck number two. I am in deck two midship of the new Amsterdam ship. I am going to show you the Pinnacle Grill restaurant. This is the premium fancy steak and seafood restaurant on Holland America cruise ships. If you want to eat at the fanciest restaurant on any Holland America cruise ship, you want to eat at the pinnacle grill this is the restaurant that you'll want to eat at and again this costs extra i highly recommend you make your reservations ahead of time insider's tip do not eat at the pinnacle grill on formal night because you can get steak 
in the main dining room on formal night. So why pay extra to have steak at the Pinnacle Grill when you could get it for free in the main dining room? So only eat at the Pinnacle Grill when it's not formal night on your cruise ship. And this is showing you exactly what it looks like. People seem to love, love, love the Pinnacle Grill. It is fancy. It's a great excuse to dress up. We are not done with deck number two of this new Amsterdam ship tour. I still got to show you the BB Kings Blues Club and Billboard on board. Quick note, the test kitchen does not exist anymore. They no longer do that on Holland America cruise ships. But here I am walking down the hallway and to my left is the BB Kings Blues Club, which I highly recommend you go to. I absolutely love dancing to the bb kings blues club at night the band is always amazing insider's tip if you want a seat arrive early because it is relatively small for how many people are on board and it does fill up quickly or you can just be like me and dance all night in which case you don't need a seat and of course like any cruise ship would have you can order drinks at the bar over there to your left and more areas to sit are over here. I am going to do a little close up of the Queen and King of Holland. Come on, let's take a quick peek. Why not say hello, give them a compliment, and then let's continue on our new Amsterdam ship tour. I'm walking my way back towards the, what I call the dueling piano bar, but it's really just the piano bar. But it is this way, I'm going to show you some of the artwork and decorations on the walls. There's a boat, just keep on walking. So up ahead, you'll see billboard on board. That's the piano bar, which is right next to the casino. Okay, so this is billboard on board board it is very very popular right now they're having bingo about to start but people love the billboard on board it's two piano players they play music they take requests they sing and this is the casino i'm filming this around 1 p.m on a c day and as you can see the casino is absolutely packed People obviously love the casino on Holland America Cruise Line, so that is that. Over here is just more sitting areas and another bar up there to your right. Going to show you another view of the casino. It is crowded on the new Amsterdam ship right now. Here is a bar on deck two. This must be the billboard on board bar. I'm not 100% sure what the name of the bar is. But anyway, I'm going to escape that area and we're going to keep on walking past the dueling piano bar, past the casino, and slowly make our way towards the main stage, which is where the performances are at night. Okay, so the main stage is three levels. Tonight is the company men. There are two shows every night. So tonight is that show. I am showing you, again, this is deck number two. My mom and I personally sit up top when we wanna see the performances on deck three, but I'll say most people like to sit on deck two. I love that the new Amsterdam, their main stage has such intricate details like that piece of artwork that you just saw. The stage is very intricate. It is a smaller stage on the new Amsterdam ship, but I think they recently did all of their seats, which is nice. There's the upper sitting area on deck number three right now we're on deck number two and that is the main stage of the new amsterdam ship i'll have another video that you can watch about the nightlife so that you can actually see some of the shows but this is just the tour of new amsterdam ship i wanted to show you exactly what the main stage looks like 
On deck three is the main dining room, the main stage, some small rooms, and the library and the shops. Right now I'm just going to show you the upper part of the main stage. So if you don't want to sit down below, you can come to the third floor and sit up here to see the shows at the night time. And then I'm going to turn around, walk back, and show you the rest of Deck 3 on this new Amsterdam ship tour. So we're just going to keep on walking. Going to take a little detour here to show you the promenade deck. One thing that I absolutely love about the new Amsterdam ship is that they still have the benches and lounge chairs on the patio. I think it's just a great place to sit and relax and enjoy the view. Some of the newer ships from Holland America Cruise Line do not have these lounge chairs outside. You'll also see the bench there that says New Amsterdam, which I think is kind of cool. It's just a unique touch that the older ships have. And here you see the wonderful view from the new Amsterdam ship. Right now, this is a Caribbean cruise that I am on while filming this tour. There is a place there to throw away your trash and recyclables, life vests on the left, and then the promenade deck. If you do three laps on the new Amsterdam ship, that is equal to one mile. Now we're walking back inside. I'm just going to continue this little tour. There are bathrooms right there. So in case you have to go to the bathroom before or after a show in the evening, you can do that. Another piece of artwork, kind of interesting, but that is what they have on the new Amsterdam ship. Um, here we're walking along. Along the right hand side here are just various small rooms. They rarely get used, but they are available for like small meetup groups and whatnot. Sometimes they have cribbage in those rooms or groups for Alcoholics Anonymous. Those are just meetup rooms. So we're going to keep on going, walking here. Turn around because hiding behind here is the library on the new Amsterdam ship. I have another YouTube video that shows you everything in the library, but right now we're just going to do a little tiny little sneak peek. Walk in here. The library is very nice and new. There are multiple books for each book. There's a nonfiction section, romance section, poetry section, young adult section, a wide variety of books, mysteries, etc., etc., as well as a take a book, leave a book section, which is great. So we're gonna walk out of the library here. On our left-hand side on deck three are some of the fancy jewelry shops. If you want to buy premium jewelry, that is that room over there. Holland America is really big into the Effie jewelry, so you'll see that featured frequently. And here are, is the premium jewelry that you can buy. I've personally never purchased the expensive jewelry on a Holland America cruise ship, but if you have the money and you want to do it, it is there for your to purchase. All right, moving along is the main shops. So on the left-hand side here on the new Amsterdam ship is more jewelry for purchase. So we'll just take a little sneak peek. They frequently have sales. And then the right-hand side is the main shop on the new Amsterdam ship. Right now, I'm still showing the jewelry, 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 more jewelry, and ta-da, the main Voyager shop. So on the new Amsterdam ship, the shops are basically all grouped together in one main area, and right now it's pretty crowded in here. So they have jewelry that's more affordable. Those rings are two for $20, more rings, more jewelry, necklaces, many options available. We're just gonna go around here, excuse me, sir. They have cigarettes, Pringles, snacks, Pepto-Bismol, cough drops, razors, hair brushes, sunblock, toothpaste, toothbrushes, floss, more chips, 
turning around here, going into this section of the New Amsterdam shop, they have purses and bags by Kate Spade. I think it was Prada and Gucci back there. They have some expensive purses. Walking back to the main part of the shop, they have swimsuit cover-ups, Holland America merchandise like hats, towels, sweatshirts, and shorts. They have sunglasses. They always have the Tortuga rum cakes, which are delicious and tasty. Swimsuit cover-ups, Lily Pul Pulitzer dresses and merchandise, more swimsuit cover-ups for women, t-shirts. They have a small men's section of clothes by Tommy Bahama. Let's take a peek. Oh, I actually kind of like that shirt for men. That's a nice Tommy Bahama shirt. They have shorts, more shirts for men, and I'm just gonna sneak back here. Don't mind me. They have makeup on Holland America Cruise Line ships, so you'll see Lancome, Dior, Chanel, Estee Lauder. One good thing about buying makeup and perfumes on Holland America cruise ships is that you don't have to pay taxes and they are the normal prices that they would be. So it's a good thing to buy on any Holland America cruise ship, such as a New Amsterdam ship. If you need Clinique makeup, Estee Lauder anti-wrinkle cream or perfume. Go ahead and buy it. It's a good thing to buy. I personally bought Maui Gym sunglasses. Ducked under that. Don't mind me. I'm just doing a little tour. So we're going to continue down on deck three of the new Amsterdam ship. What is that? Oh, we're exiting the shops. This is showing us what's ahead. We are going to run into the ocean bar, the gallery, and the main dining room on deck three of the new Amsterdam ship. Those are the glass elevators, which I love. The newer ships don't have the glass elevators. So that's something unique about the new Amsterdam ship. This is the ocean bar area, I believe. So sometimes they have music right there on your right. And here we are entering a mixology class where people have four drinks in front of them Everybody seemed to be having a great time. Which one's your favorite? He's asking everybody, tell me, which one do you love? And everybody said two. Everybody liked drink number two. So if you enjoy drinking, um, the mixology classes are fun. I'll say everybody was having a great time on this new Amsterdam ship. We're just gonna continue walking over here, showing you the rest of this bar on deck three of the new Amsterdam ship. Over here to the left is more sitting areas over here. And you see the whole bar there to your left. Everybody is sitting around having a great time. Later on in the evenings, right before dinner, this bar is much, much more crowded, but I'm filming this around three o'clock in the afternoon. So it's empty right now. So we're going to exit the ocean bar and continue on deck three, walking toward the main dining room. First, we're going to move through the photo gallery. So one thing that I love about the new Amsterdam ship is they still print out all of your photos that they take and put them out for you to view. The newer ships have everything be digital. I love, love, love that the new Amsterdam ship still prints out your photos for you to see. That's just reminding me that tonight is dressy night, not formal night. Now they're just calling it dressy night. And I'm going to look at all these beautiful pictures. Somewhere on this wall is a photo of me with my mom. Where is it? Zooming in, zooming in, zooming in. <gasps> there we are. Hello. Hi. All right. We're just going to keep on walking down deck three of this new Amsterdam ship tour. Walk, walk, walk. Bathrooms to my left. Yep. There's the... That looks like maybe the men's or women's bathroom, women's bathroom. Oh, we're gonna go in. I'm gonna show you what the bathrooms look like. These are the public bathrooms on New Amsterdam. As you can see, the color scheme is brown and red, kind of outdated in my opinion. And that's the toilet. Yes, I just filmed that. So that you guys know what to expect 
After all, this is the new Amsterdam ship tour. You gotta see the whole thing. What I love is that they have towels to dry your hands versus just paper towels. And when you exit the bathroom, make sure to grab a paper towel and use that to open the door, throw it in the trash. That way you don't spread any germs. All right, let's keep on walking. We exited the photo gallery. There's the deck outside there. Now we're going to the deck three main dining room of the new Amsterdam ship. So we're going to go in beautiful flowers to welcome you. If you have assigned seating, which I highly, highly recommend, you will be most likely dining on deck three. I personally recommend assigned dining because then you have the same table every single night and your waiter gets to know you. I find that you don't have to wait in a line to be sat. You also get served quicker. And I think it's just nice knowing your waiter every night, having them know you and sitting with the same people every night. Down there below, I'm showing you the second floor of the main dining room. I'm just going to continue this little tour here, walking around, showing you the new Amsterdam dining room. I will say at nighttime, all of these curtains are open. You can see the water outside. I think they just have the curtains closed right now to keep it cool in the dining room and have it not get overheated. I will say the new Amsterdam dining room is a little bit outdated in my opinion. I think that the dining room on the newer ships is just a lot fancier looking. This is a little bit outdated, but that's just me. So we're going to exit the dining room on the new Amsterdam ship. As you'll see, there are tables for two, there's tables for four, there's tables for six, there's tables for eight. My mom and I love sitting in the back at the table for six. When you first board the Holland America cruise ship, if you go to deck two outside of the pinnacle bar, you can request a specific table. All right, now we're going to move to deck four on this new Amsterdam ship tour. And I just want to show you that the other decks were it's just cabins. There's not much to show you. This is just a general idea of what to expect. I'm going to go up the stairs, walk, walk, walk. I always walk up the stairs. I think it's faster than taking the elevator. I always beat my mom when I take the stairs. So if you don't mind taking the stairs, I recommend you do that. I will say the new Amsterdam ship on each deck they don't really have a whole lot to look at they have very simple artwork compared to some of the newer ships and i feel like they're missing decor right here outside the elevators but not the end of the world just showing you a general idea of what to expect if you're really lucky you might find a duck hiding somewhere on a holland america ship so that's what that little note is about and here I'm just showing you one of the hallways on the new Amsterdam ship to give you an idea of what to expect. I will say I don't find the hallways to be particularly attractive on the new Amsterdam ship. I think the hallways on the newer ships are much, much nicer, but this just gives you an idea. They do have artwork in the hallways. It helps you find your room. So that is a tip. Pay attention to the piece of artwork outside of your new Amsterdam stateroom and then you can maybe find it a little bit easier. So here I'm just walking down the hallway, walking, 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 showing you the different staterooms on the outside. Here we are on deck number one, going to the main stage. So a little tip is uh, if you are on deck number two, or three, you might have to go down steps to go to the shows in the evening, but you can enter the main stage on deck number one and you will go down this way here. And this way you do not have to go down any steps at all to get to the main stage. So I am just showing you how to do that. Again, this is a view of the main stage of the Holland America New Amsterdam ship. You'll see the upper deck there on deck three. Those seats at the top you access from deck number two. And I'm down here 
on deck number one. So just wanted to show you another view of the main stage on the new Amsterdam ship. It is a beautiful venue. It might be a little bit smaller than the newer ships, especially the stage. I found the stage to be kind of small in comparison to the newer ships, but it is still very nice. And there's that private little area. That was it. That was the grand tour of the Holland America New Amsterdam ship. I'm sure I forgot to um, include some rooms or areas. So if you wanna see anything in particular, please leave a comment below. I'm on the cruise ship now and can do a separate video to show you exactly what you might wanna see. Again, if you thought this video was helpful, please, please subscribe and leave any questions and comments below.